What up, everybody? This is the Fireball Meteor build. It's almost complete. It's still it's still got some work to do, but we're going to share with you what we got going on uh, just because we want to make sure this is a full screen video. I had some comments that we shouldn't do the split screen. I like the split screen, but if you didn't like it, that's fine. We'll do a full screen. So we got the Starfall uh, with the 7.5 cool down reduction it brings it to 5.94 just under six which is awesome all right the chest piece i got lucky hit on there well this is something that you probably want to put maybe some damage reduction if you're getting killed a lot but uh there's something else i'm missing on this chest piece which is uh max armor 925 and then health instead of that damage so that needs to be upgraded we got a, the gloves of illuminator and this is a 25 percent nice roll on this on, on the actual pants i still didn't get uh the correct pants that i want i still need to get rid of that damage reduction while close and then i, I would like to put damage reduction while injured because that will save your life um so you'll pretty much get down to like no life and then if you get hit again then you're you're probably going to die but damage re reduction while injured is really good as well I got Asu's heirloom with 29%, almost the 30, almost the 30. And th this doesn't really matter. The movement speed's only 24 because I'm maxed when I hit space bar anyways, when I hit my evade. So you could use the Staff of Endless Rage. You don't have to use it. I do like the Staff of Endless Rage if you get a good roll on the actual damage. So this is 922, almost 925. Perfect, right? If you don't have that and you got two 925 weapons, you could do... Uh, a one-handed weapon with all stats intelligence you, you probably want vulnerable damage or something else like mastery damage or core skill damage or something like that um and then crit damage so this is a little off too uh, and that's why i use this staff of endless rage right now uh, and then on the off hand you could also do the barrier imprint this one is both the barrier uh damage while having a barrier one vulnerable uh, for the neck piece, I got a really good neck piece. This is armor, damage reduction while injured, cooldown reduction, three ranks of Devouring Blaze. All those are probably the best stats. You could take out cooldown reduction and get plus to all defense. That might be a, a, a an upgrade. I, I haven't played around with it because I haven't found it yet, but I, I'm assuming that might be a little bit of an upgrade because I could use some skill points on the tree somewhere else. Um, we also have... Uh, the meteor or fireball does increase damage double when healthy. So I am using the uh, ring of scarlet skies and all the videos that you see me doing all those damages. I was not using it. I was using this ring right here. Oh, geez. Where is it? This ring right here. So I put uh, pyromancy on it to gain more mana, but you could also do prodigy, which is uh, easy to get. It is in the codex. So uh, max life on there, crit, crit damage, and then resource regain. Um, I would play this build either way. If you have this, if you don't, you know, most of you aren't going to have the Ring of Scarlet Sky, so you're going to use this this uh, aspect. And then Talrash is on the ring. Pretty good Talrash is just the resource regain is not really a problem and i'm gonna explain why and i said it in a video early on i said these things are gonna be good when you start leveling them up and they're freaking awesome let me tell you why so there's a couple governing stones that are really good that i like to use uh first one is flash of regeneron so this gives you about a 20 second damage increase so i'm at 19 so 20 second damage increase when you max out duration and tactical support this is always up so you always have 20 percent so when you get this eventually you're gonna you're gonna slot this in this spot get rid of safeguard and you're gonna have a 50 percent damage bonus consistently so genesis is gonna go here we're gonna use duration support we're gonna use tactical support and flash of adrenaline so hopefully we'll get this one day that's the goal so just like glyphs, glyphs aren't that powerful early on, but once you start leveling them up, they're strong, just like these things. They're very strong. 50% is ridiculous. So safeguard's really good right now, because when you max that out, that's only at seven. 
That's an extra 15% damage reduction. That's actually like a glyph, right? Some of the glyphs give us 15% damage reduction. Reinforced gives you 15% while you have a barrier. So very, very good. These stones are awesome and they are very useful. Uh, Tempest is the other one that's always active. Like it is always shooting out things. Boom, 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 boom. And it's hitting everything. So there's a lot of things you could do with it. Uh, one, resource you know, I, I never really run out of mana because of resource support, and this still needs to be ranked up even further. So if you're using a lot of resources in your build, use resource support and you won't run out of mana. I use frigid support because I also use hoarfrost in the skill tree. So you can see that I'm getting an extra 9% damage just because of this one glyph. Um, or I'm sorry, for uh, one tempest or tuning stone. So frigid support and then fortify support. So that's the one I'd probably get rid of if I did end up getting um, the Evernight. And then Evernight would be always up for four ranks to all skills. That would be amazing. So that's the that's the stones right there, baby. The stones are looking good. The stones are looking good. They are useful. Everyone thought they weren't useful. Man, these stones are useful. All right, so here's what we're running with. Uh, we're just putting two points in. We're going fireball all the way to destructive fireball. We take devastation into elemental dom dominance, and then we go to flame shield and teleport all the way to shimmering teleport. Full glass cannon, baby. Let's get some damage in elemental attunement. And this kind of synergies with the, the abilities I have on my bar. So I only have two defensives, teleport and flame shield. And those are the ones I'd want to be up the most anyways. So those get reset consistently, constantly too. So we got precision magic, your lucky hit chance increased by 15%. We got all the way to summon ice blades and then all the way to invoked lightning spear and then conjugation mastery because that's 3%, right? So, but, but I use the enhanced ice blades enchantment and I get three ice blades up consistently and then I have a lightning spear. So that's actually 12% extra damage just like that pretty much guaranteed all the time when I'm fighting something uh, then we're going to go into meteor we're going to go into enhanced meteor and wizard's meteor uh, we get inner flames and we go to devouring blaze we get extra inner flames from our staff of endless rage too we get one point into permafrost and then horror frost gets all three and then we're in esu's uh, ferocity for the extra crit damage. All right. So this is going to be the Paragon board. We did use seven glyphs. We have them all to 15, the ones we're using. So it's it's lovely. So we're not maxed out in power yet, right? Because when we start upgrading these to 21, you're going to even feel more powerful, which is sweet. Uh, I took some extra health nodes you're going to notice when you look at this. So Elementalist is first. The reason why is because you want to buff this and this. So these are resist buffs and this is non-physical damage buffs. Um, I actually went in here into the Enchantment Mastery and I got reinforced first. Um, I also went into more health and non-physical damage. Wrapped around went into this is the big board right here the searing heat board so this is where you're going to get an extra 30 percent damage uh, for all your skills so i also went into the extra fire damage you come down here you get some more fire damage and then you get some more fire damage and then you put pyromaniac in that skill this thing is a beast <clears throat> so before i went there though I, I went up and went up to destruction and that destruction is in the burning instinct board. Uh, I got some damage to burning enemies because when you meteor, they get they become burning. And then you got uh, damage reduction from burning enemies. Uh, went into adept. This is kind of a cool tree. Look how look how sweet we're able to make this. It's just really simple. Zoom 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 zoom. Got up. Go up. Go up. And then we got the larger radius on the meteor and then a 60 percent damage where that that increase on the meteor as well uh and then we went into exploit and exploit actually uh is just a little bit of extra damage but it is a pretty good glyph you can play around with that one if you want uh and then this is a kind of a must here right you're going into frigid fate i did go up and get lucky hit so 
<clears throat> you're getting the unleashed this this is another one where it's like eh, do i need this one so another one you can play around with but it feels pretty good right now uh we did clear all the uber bosses you know we 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 cleared uh durial multiple times we killed the echo of uh, mal we killed uh tier 100 vault tier 100 nightmare dungeon uh we really ran through everything i will say that fire has been like this in the past too like a fire build was always not always the best build for bosses so it takes a little bit longer than some of the other builds i've played um uh, but it is a very fun build and i definitely recommend checking it out so that the build comment below if you have any questions about it let me know what you think and uh like and subscribe to the channel to see more content from Kalfka. We are coming out. We we, we pretty much have this build done. We, we're working on the next build. But tell me what you want to see in the comments. If there's something special you want to see, I, I, will, I, will, I will do my best to try to make that build for you. All right. Well, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it.